everybody can see this. Anyway, I think the light's probably good enough. Let me see. Oh, that's better. All right. Uh, so anyway, all right. Um, I'm I'm doing this lesson, this video, this lesson. This will be pretty short. Um, just as a setup for some stuff to come. All right. Uh, everything that we'll be doing for the next test, well, maybe not everything, almost everything that we'll be doing for the next test is going to deal with trying to read some information off of a graph without actually being able to see the graph. Okay, so we're going to try to figure out some feature of a graph without having it right in front of us. Or even if we had the graph in front of us, maybe the information that we want is so precise and detailed, our eyes are just not good enough to see what we want, all right? So in order to set all that up, I want to do an introduction video about a curve and its derivative and what the connection is between them. So a curve, a graph, a function, that's usually given to us by y or f of x or something like that. And f prime or y prime, uh, one of many things that that tells us is the slope of that original curve, okay? So what we need to address in this video is what does it say about a curve if the derivative is zero? And what does it say about a curve if the derivative was undefined, all right? So I'll, I'll, I'll just, without trying to get too deep in the math that we forget what we're doing, I'll try to answer both those questions uh, just so that you can be aware of their answers for later uh, when the math does get more overwhelming, all right? So I, to keep things simple, I took that one, all right? That's a fairly simple function by calculus one standard. And it's a parabola. It looks like that. And down at this point, which is at the very bottom, that lowest point, uh, the derivative there is zero, okay? And that's because the curve is horizontal at that point. All right, because if something had a slope of zero, it would be horizontal. That's what horizontal is. Uh, now, like now, so I just want to tell you that it's there in the red ink, just because I wanted to tell you. Uh, can you support this somehow? Well, so what is the derivative of that? It's two uh, x minus four, and if you were to solve that for zero, say if you wanted the spot on that curve that had a zero slope to it that point at the very bottom, uh, then you'd solve it and you'd get 2, okay? All right, you'd get 4 over 2, that's 2. So sure, that's what it means if the slope is ever 0 or if f prime is 0. So let's answer that first question. We'll say, well, if, if the derivative was ever 0, that would mean that at that spot, uh, the curve is horizontal, and as a result, maybe that point is a low point or a high point on the curve, all right? But at least for now, you know what it means if the derivative is zero. What about this, this other question? What does it mean if the derivative is undefined? Well, that's the more complicated case or question. Uh, but I'll try to give you what, with my best efforts, is the simplest answer to that question. Uh, the derivative being undefined can mean lots of different things, okay? Like, take this one, all right? So, say I sketch out this graph of absolute value x minus 2 plus 3, okay? It turns out that the derivative of this is undefined at that corner point, okay? So, if a curve was to ever have a corner point, the derivative would be undefined there. What's a corner point? Well, the absolute value graphs have corner points on them somewhere, all right? Just to, just to make a, a general statement about it, that's what I'll say, okay? This graph in particular, for example, has a corner point at 2. The derivative is undefined at 2. You can associate corner points with derivatives being undefined. Why is that? Well, like at this curve right here, if I could, you know, magnify it, zoom in at the bottom of it, you know, down at like the very bottom, it would look flat, all right? And that's why I'm justified in, in saying that the slope is zero there. But that corner, I mean, you can zoom in all you want. It's just going to look like more of a, a closer look at the corner. It's not going to smooth out 
So this curve, if I look close enough, smooths out into what looks like a straight line, like that little piece right there looks straight, okay? Well, the whole thing's not straight, but that little piece does look straight. If I could zoom in there, it's not gonna smooth out to anything. Okay, so that is a corner point. Uh, could you give me the derivative of this? Well, uh, let's see. The derivative tells you the slope of the curve. I would just need a few points to do that. Like uh, this point right here is zero for x and five for y. I could tell you the slope of this portion of it, like over to two. I could figure out how steep that line is. And I don't know, can I find another point? Like, I wanna say four, so four minus two says two, four and five, all right. I can tell you the slope of this right here. So the derivative of this is going to be negative one. That's the slope of that. Uh, if x is less than 2, and it's going to be 1 if x is greater than 2. 1 is the slope of this. Why did I leave 2 out? Well, because it's undefined at 2. Because there's a corner point. All right. So there's your derivative. f prime 2, though, has to be undefined at the corner. All right. So now, hopefully, if we see a graph and it has a corner on it, we'll know that all oh, the derivative is undefined there. Okay? Any other possibilities? I wish I could tell you yes, but I can't. Um, what about this one? Okay, so this curve, third root of x. Uh, well, so these curves, you could, if you wanted to, if you, know, you really had to, you could plot them out uh, one point at a time, like I could find that, 0 for x, 0 for y is on this curve, 8 for x, 2 for y is on the curve, uh, negative 8, negative 2. You know, I could plot a bunch of points and put it on graph paper if I wanted to. The nature of this curve, though, is that it's vertical right there at 0 and 0. Okay, well, does a vertical line have a slope? No, a vertical line, I mean, there's no way to say what the slope of a vertical line is. So, the derivative because it tells you the slope of the curve has to also be undefined, okay? So, so far, a uh, derivative being undefined could mean there's a corner point. It could mean that the curve is vertical, all right? Such as this one. But those are, those are two implications, two scenarios about a derivative being undefined that we might encounter, okay? All right, are there more? Yes, there's more, okay. So this one, take x to the two-thirds power. And again, I know that you don't walk around knowing what the graph of that looks like, or at least you probably don't. But um, I'll sketch it for you real quick. And this graph has a feature on it that's a little bit unusual, and it's called a cusp, all right? It's sort of like a corner, but uh, the definition of a cusp would be like for this one, uh, limit... Uh, x goes to 0 from the left, f prime, see the slope of this curve? It gets, it's negative slope out there, but it gets steeper and steeper and steeper and steeper and steeper as I go into 0, okay? So that limit is negative infinity, meaning that the curve gets steeper in a negative direction as I go towards the origin. And the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of f prime of x is, well, okay, so look, it's here it's got a slope like my pin right there. And then as I go towards 0, it gets steeper and steeper and steeper and steeper and steeper. And it's uh, infinity, okay? So that's what a cusp is. A, a cusp has some complicated definition like that, all right? Basically, that's that's what it means. But it looks like this. It looks kind of like a corner, but it's not it's not like two lines meeting at an angle. All right. Okay. Now, so this one has that feature in its. Without making the math get way more complicated, I can't elaborate any more about it. But but any you, something that has that kind of power to it might very well have a cusp. But I'll I'll tell you that. Uh, x to the two-thirds power. So, so far, if it's, uh, if a 
derivative was undefined somewhere, it could mean that there's a cusp, it could mean that the curve is vertical, it could mean that there's a corner point. Remember, that's the one that has a complicated answer. All right, so, so we got, uh, I think, three out of four. One more, only one more, and that's this one. This one right here. This is a graph that has a horizontal and a vertical asymptote, okay? All right, vertical asymptotes like so. Curve forms around it vertically. And horizontal asymptotes like so. Curve forms around it horizontally, okay? All right, now it's dis it's not continuous at 8, right? There is no continuity of the curve across that vertical line, all right? Now, if a curve is not continuous anywhere, that means the derivative is also undefined, all right? There's no way for me to tell you the slope of the curve at 8 if the curve doesn't even exist at 8, if there's not a point there, all right? Or at least if it's not continuous and doesn't connect on itself that way. So if it's, you know, not continuous at 8, the derivative can't have an answer. All right, that's, so those are all the possibilities. The easy one, if the derivative is zero, that means the curve's horizontal. That means it might, you know, fall down to a, a low point like that, like this one does. If the derivative is undefined, well, that's the more complicated scenario that we have to worry about. It could mean that there's a corner point, such as on the absolute value graph. It could mean that the curve was vertical, such as this one. This curve shoots up extremely steep right there, vertical right there, before it tapers on off that way. It's vertical, just like the y-axis at zero. It could mean that the curve has a cusp, right? Or it could mean that the curve is not continuous. So those are all the scenarios that might happen if the derivative is undefined. Nonetheless, though, uh, the derivative tells you the slope of the curve either way. And in the videos that follow, in the problems that follow, that you see in lessons or online, uh, this is all going to be in that context.